what is up guys how is everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit your situation if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box below now the song that's channeling and i thought it was interesting because i really only heard it on tiktok and then I started re-listening to it. And I know y'all all heard, like, if you guys listen to TikTok or whatever, it's by Nelsia. It's Options. You know, she says, that dick ain't that good for you to keep getting play. No, that dick ain't that good for him to treat you that way. Or something like that. Dun, 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 dun. Steady begging to... But then she says, I got options. Fucking with you was optional. And I got, and if he got problems, then I'll get me a dude much bigger. I'm not your ex. I don't want to be with you and all your bullshit. And I'm tired of hearing all your lame excuses. I got options. You know, so she, and in the song, it's not even about having options. That's literally the only time she says it. But it's like she's saying, I need more. The The actual verse is like, I need more than what you've given me. And then at the end, it's like she breaks the beat down and it's so cool. Like, I, I love the song. She did that shit because at the end, she's like, you know, um, now you come around, you kiss me on the neck, you make love to me slow, you whisper in my ear while you're making love to me and I let this shit go, you know. And that's why she's saying, no, that dick ain't that good for me to keep getting played. You know, I got options. Fucking with you was optional. I'm not your ex. I'm not going to be with you and all your bullshit. And I'm getting tired of all your lame ass excuses. So like there's an energy where it's like you aren't like any of the other people that this person has dated. You ain't for the bullshit. You ain't for the drama. And um, it's almost like you already know where you were take it because I'm feeling an energy of somebody who will go from one to 100 in three seconds flat if they somebody fucks with them but I'm also feeling an energy of somebody that's like you know I got options I could fuck with anybody I want you was my option you were optional I chose you and now you want to mistreat me I'm not going to be your past people I'm not going to be with you and all your bullshit you got me fucked up mm. somebody saying that they need more Cause that dick ain't that good for you to keep getting played. This person might come around and try to use like sex as a way to fix things when things go bad. Like instead of t talking about it and communicating, you know, and because at that towards the end, she's like, when you're talking, whispering in my ear, kissing on my neck, I start to forget. You know what I'm saying? And she starts to, like, forget how she told herself, like, no, nah, I'm not going to deal with this anymore. So this person could come, like, back in and make love to you and try to use that as a way to, you know, simmer the situation down. Past hurt holds them captive, and there's somebody that fears getting hurt again. And so... You know, with that song, I'm not going to be your, I don't want to be your ex with you and all your bullshit or something. I'm not your ex. I don't want to be with you and all your bullshit. Um, it's almost like this person uses what happened in a past relationship or like what somebody did to them in the past as a way to excuse their behavior now and I feel like that could be like what comes up well like you know this bitch did this this and this to me and blah 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 and I done been blah 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 and it's like okay that's not an excuse to treat the next person like shit Definitely an energy of somebody that's scared to get hurt again, but I think that that has a lot to do with you too because when she says you know I let him come back whisper in my ear it's like damn you know but this is also somebody that's standing tall, like almost like, you know, at the end of the day, I know I'm the catch. You know, you are the one who should be grateful that you caught me, motherfucker, okay, that I chose you. And so this energy here, it's almost just like, I don't know, there's definitely this just them holding on to a past relationship or an ex and using that as an excuse for their behavior now. 
Yeah, this person is extremely defensive, okay? You can ask them something and it goes, they go from zero to 100, all right? And it's like a simple question. It's almost like this person knows like, they're getting on the verge of getting caught. Maybe they're hiding something here because they're definitely covering up something. I feel like this person too makes it out like whoever this ex is did them horribly wrong and treated them so shittily. But I feel like this person told a lot of lies about this ex because, um, this person knows that they were the fuck up. So, what I'm feeling like is you're the ex to this person. This is very weird, y'all. So take it how it resonates. If you're the ex to this person, this person is still attached to you, is still in love with you. They get into new relationships and they blame you for the way things went wrong when really they know that they were the problem. Now, if this is somebody here that's shit, whatever this is, this person is very, very defensive. It's almost like they hurt themselves and it's like they, they are guarded, fear showing their true self. So whoever this person is, they do keep this guard up. Now, there's still an energy of them blaming, like, what has happened to them in the past on how they treat you, though. This is very weird. It's very complex here. And so this person purposely guards themselves and doesn't show their true sign. This person acts hard as blocked, unable to let love in. Something has really triggered this person or traumatized this person. And I don't feel like it's like somebody dogging them out, treating them like shit, cheating on them. I don't feel like, I feel like it was like they caused the trauma. And what they did is they played somebody that they really, really cared about, that they loved, that they felt a true connection with, and they lost that person. And so now in all future relationships, they hold that over every future relationship's head. And they stay guarded, they stay blocked, they keep their heart blocked off, they don't show their true selves, they're extremely defensive. But whoever this person is, they're not going to be able to fall in love or move forward because they're completely stuck on this ex, this person that they left behind, this person that they hurt. That's the cat scratching my recliner. <laughs> okay. Um, but their heart is completely blocked and able to let love in. This person is stuck. They're stuck on the past. They're so scared that they're going to get hurt again. The past holds them captive. They blame everything that's went wrong with them or they blame everything on this past relationship. They blame their actions. They blame their behaviors. And the sad part is that they know that they they are the ones, you know, they're defensive as fuck about this past relationship because they know they're the ones that fucked it up. They're the ones that caused all the mistakes here. Yeah, because it's like whoever you are in this scenario, this person feels very pressured by you. Especially if you are the ex, you you know, this person knows they only have one shot to get it right, to, to make this right. And this scares the fuck out of them because this person is a, um, a fuck up and not in a way where it's like, I'm just going to call somebody a fuck up, okay? It's like they their, menta their mentality or like their energy is like they know how to screw things up man they always everything good they fuck up and, and you know it's like it is what it is that's the energy i'm feeling here and this person knows it they know they fuck up everything good in their life they know okay that's the word they're their own worst enemy self-sabotage self-defeat they do shit knowing that there are going to be consequences but they do it anyway that that type of energy it's just they feel they know that they don't have too many shots to get this right now even if you're you know if you're not the ex that's the same here you know because if they're stuck on somebody from the past then 
it's time to move forward if you want to have a relationship with me, right? So this is that energy of somebody feeling very pressured. And they only have one motherfucking chance here. But for some reason, I'm really feeling like a lot of y'all might be like the ex. Even if it's just like recently broke up. But there's like, you know. Not on the same page. Your desires do not align. Like the two of you guys just are not on the same page. Can't get on the same page. They're guarded. Their heart is blocked. You wanted different things out of life, you know. At one, some point, it's time to settle down, okay? But it's like this person lets their ego get the best of them. That's where their stupid decisions come from. It's like out of ego. Like, they get super emotional. They don't know how to handle their emotions. They kind of rage out, and then they do dumb shit out of ego. Why are you sticking your ass? You could at least stick the face part of yourself in the camera, baby. But, yeah, this person is like... Then they make stupid decisions. Like, it's like irrational. Get your booty. Look, you got your whole butt. Get, 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 get. get. We got to turn away because you're being perverted. Ow, you scratched me. Okay. <laughs> I ain't trying to let y'all see all that, okay? Get his balls in the camera. No, thank you. Okay. Um. So when it comes to this person, it's just like the two of you guys are not aligning right now. They're just so focused on having things their way. But what they're about to start realizing is that their way isn't getting them nowhere. Their way is taking them around in circles, doing the same shit over and over and over again. But here they are still sitting in this egotistical energy where they'd rather wait expects you to come back. I am so sorry about Dallas. He over here just put his whole, y'all, I'm sorry, okay? Let's see, spirit, ancestors, and guys, what is this person's overall energy towards the collective? Once again, look at that, that guarded energy. That, that, it, and you know, the Nine of Wands is truly somebody that has been through war, has battled it out, has, they like have no choice but to be like on guard, ready, ready for anything again, right? But in this case, this Nine of Wands, it, it's like a battle that this person created for themselves, okay? And so here they are, they are guarded, they are... Mm, keeping something you see the moon and the nine of wands this person is hiding something they're trying to keep this a complete secret but this person could be moving okay with the three of wands in the middle this person could definitely be moving towards you or moving away from you um but this person is like definitely relocating because there's something where this person used to only be focused on the present the present now 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 What's going to happen the next day, you know? But now it's like this person is more focused on the future. And I feel like this is, you know, where they were focused on the past, they're realizing that they have to move forward and they have to let some things go in order to move forward. Whether it's with an ex or with a new person, this person knows that it's like, it's time to let go of the past hurts and the past pains and the things that has happened. And it's time to stop focusing on the past and it's, stop, it's time to start focusing on the present. And it's time to grow up and start focusing on the future, okay? On what's going to happen to me when I don't have friends around, when we're all old, we have our own families, you know, grandchildren. Like, what is it? Where am I going to be at in life then? And so... It's definitely a part of this person's shadow work, but it's like a slap in the face too for them because it's like they're losing a lot of false friends. They're losing a lot of people in their life. And so now this person is thinking, I don't want to be alone. Like it's like an energy of this person realizing like if I keep living life this way, I'm going to end up alone. Okay. Okay. But this person is trying very, very hard to keep something a secret. Now, this could be something about what they are planning, okay? But they're definitely guarded. They're definitely hiding something. There's definitely something that they're trying to keep you from finding out. 
What is this person feeling for the collective spirit? What is this person feeling for the collective? Yeah, see, this person can't sleep. They can't eat. They're up at night. They're overthinking. They're having a lot of anxiety, okay? Uh, this person is pretty upset, and they're trying to heal from this situation, okay? But there's just this energy where they cannot heal. They cannot get over this situation here. No matter what they do, no matter what they try to do, they cannot get over this situation and heal from it. It's the Nine of Swords, uh, Four of Swords. You know, they're really, really struggling to heal from this situation. Let's see, Spirit Ancestors and Guides. What are they thinking? What is this person thinking about the Collective Spirit? What is this person thinking about the Collective Spirit? They think they fucked it completely up to the point of no return with the tower moment here. It's just like everything falling apart, everything crumbling down. What they thought they built, it's like they thought that they it was set in stone. That this connection, that what they had was set in stone and they kept playing games, okay? And all of a sudden, it was like, this could have happened quite fast, quite quickly. Everything, the whole connection just crumbled down to pieces and... It's their fault. And, and it's like they're so egotistical. They don't want to admit like I fucked it up. So, you know, they're very defensive about this situation because the guilt is eating their ass up because they haven't admitted it vocally, spiritually, emotionally, mentally. But the guilt, their conscience, that conscience is eating their ass up. I don't know why that song always comes to mind. His conscience comes into play. All right. Now, before you walk in the door of this liquor store and try to get money out the drawer see look the death card there's definitely an ending that has happened here but this ending has brought some kind of transformation here because you know this person wants this new opportunity it's like they want another chance they want to whatever this was it's like the divine was offering them this this fucking beautiful connection and they refused it and now they're like damn am I ever gonna get that option again am I gonna get that opportunity again have I fucked this up to a point where it's it can never come back but there's definitely an ending that brings a new beginning but there is still some kind of trickery shadiness let's see spirit let me get one or two more cards Yeah, something is just telling you to remain single for right now. Something intuitively. Now, energy is always changing, but this could be just something intuitively with the High Priestess, Nine of Pentacles, that is just kind of telling you, like, you know, I think the best thing to do is just kind of stay single, enjoy my abundance, enjoy my independence. You know, I'm being blessed. The universe is not making me go without. And even though I like this person, even though I love this person, I think it's probably best that I remain single for a little while because the high priestess is also not only very intuitive, but she also is a card of like knowing that somebody is keeping secrets, that somebody's hiding something, but you don't have to act out of character. You don't go to go searching. She's the high priestess. She knows that the universe is going to reveal all in due time, right? And so this is somebody's energy, like somebody's keeping something. There's no use in fucking up your abundant beauty. She you knows nine of pentacles. She's pre-empress. She's abundantly blessed, living life to the fullest. The only thing she's missing is that emperor to step up and become so that she can become the empress. But see, it's like somebody's like, I'm just going to focus on my independence. I ain't going to go search. Even though I feel like somebody's keeping a secret, I ain't going to go searching. I ain't going to go looking. I know that it's going to come to me in due time. And so I think the best thing for me to do is remain single and remain humble until I these secrets are revealed. Because, oh yeah, you're coming up as the high priestess also. Trust me, it's going to be revealed. Spirit guys ain't playing about you. All right? All right. That's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Y'all could have told me. <laughs> I do my nails myself, y'all. But y'all could have told me. I would have fixed that. Until next time, my loves, peace.